What we're going to do here is we're going to demonstrate how to support a bar. Products and equipment that we're going to need for this job. Bricky sand, general purpose cement, water, wheelbarrow, a shovel, some fibro, our safety gear, tape, pencil and a fibro cutter. Our first step we need to do before we put in our substrate into the floor is we need to cut a fibre cement board and place inside our cradle. I'm going to measure in between my both bottom plates of the cradle, which is measuring 1470 millimetres. I require two of those. And then I'm going to measure between the bottom plates across the cradle. This measures 665 millimetres. Bearing in mind, I do have to take off the thickness of both the long sides of the fibre cement board. Now that I've got my measurements from inside my cradle, I'm going to transfer those measurements onto my fibre cement board, use my fibre cutters, and cut the fibre cement board to size. Just fitting in our last piece, nice and tight into the end. Our next step now is to, to mix up our mortar mix. We'll be using a 4 to 1 ratio as our mix. That is four parts of sand, one part of cement. We'll top it up with water to make sure that we don't have it too runny or too stiff and have a consistent mix so we can mould around our bath. We've now just completed our wheelbarrows full of mortar mix, ready to place inside our cradle of our bath. I'm now going to remove the front panel of fibre cement. This will just make it so much easier for us. I'm now going to place the mortar inside the cradle. I've now placed all the mortar mix inside the cradle of the bath to the approximate height of the bottom of the bath. As you can see here, we have gone three quarters of the way through. The reason for that is that we need to save some space to allow the plumber to put his piping in. Now I'm going to go and grab the bath and place it in the cradle. I'm going to need some help for this, so I'm going to call my mate John in. So we're now just putting in the bath in the rough position we are. We're going to wriggle it around a little bit so that it moulds inside our cement. Almost there, John. Right. We've now completed putting the bath in. Now we just need to make sure it's in the right position and move the mortar around the base of the bath so that it's fixed in position. Because the bath's not plumbed and I can't fill it with water to hold the bath in position, I'm going to put two sandbags in and place them in the bath. That'll hold the bath nice and still while I mould the mortar around the bottom. The last thing we need to do now is to mould the cement around the bottom of the bath. Right, job's done, cement's in place, mortar's in place, now we just need to let it set. 